Hello again, YouTubers and Pokemon fans. I, of course, am Jeff, owner of the PokeCapital.com and ToysMCN.com, a YouTube network. For today's video, I have a couple of packages here I'm going to open up and show you guys what's inside. But before I do that, I just want to go over a few channel slash community updates, whatever you want to call it. Uh, first of all, for those of you who are not already aware, I am fairly actively live streaming at least three times a week on average, I'd say, on Hitbox. You can follow me there at hitbox.tv slash the Poke Capital. Um, unofficially, I'm streaming on there Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays currently, right around 6 p.m. Eastern when our daily videos on this channel usually go live. And also, I'm playing for a 100 follower celebration on there on Saturday, this week, Saturday, at 6 p.m. Eastern. That assumes we hit 100 followers by then. We're at 97 as of when I'm recording this. So, with uh, two more live streams to go before Saturday, I, I think it's safe to say we'll pick up three more followers, especially given this little announcement here. So, if you aren't already, please go to hitbox.tv slash thepokecapital and follow me on there. Right now, you pretty much only stream PDCGO, but during the uh, Saturday live stream at 6 p.m. Eastern, we'll also do some live pack openings, among other things as well. And down the line, I might do something like, you know, some Mario Kart or Mario Party type stuff. Uh, hope to eventually get a capture card so I can stream current uh, Pokemon games. Uh, may fig try to figure out how to use emulators and get that stuff downloaded and do some older games and stuff too. But right now it's PTGO and I'll hopefully expand that as I get more familiar with things and learn as I go with that. Uh, second of all, if you like my content and don't care if it's Pokemon stuff, uh, make sure you're following the hub channel of our network, which is ToysMCN.com. And that YouTube channel is Toys. YouTube.com slash user slash Toys. I'm currently trying to upload on there daily as well, with those videos going, love, going live at 7 p.m. Eastern each day. So one hour later than our videos on this channel. Um, so far, I've only been doing that for a handful of days, like five, six days. So far, I've, open, I've uh, opened on that channel... Um, some Minecraft minifigures, some Force of Will, a booster box, and a starter deck, and um, some Lego minifigures thus far. Uh, I'm going to be opening a wide range of trading cards and toys on that channel that aren't Pokemon cards. So if you want to see more content from me and don't care if it's Pokemon cards, make sure you are subscribed over there as well. Again, this channel is simply toys. And if you are in Toys MCN, you can find more information on that channel Look for the ch the uh, network update video from about a week to two weeks ago. Uh, and within that explains how, if you're a Toys MCM partner, you can submit a video that is Pokemon related to be uploaded to the Pokemon Cards 24-7 channel, which is my old Pokemon channel, which has over 20,000 subscribers, although it is more inactive. So, um, And right now, this channel, the Poke Capital, has less subscribers than Pokemon Cards 24-7, but it's doing better as far as like daily views and subscriber engagement stuff like that so but i don't want that old channel to go to complete way so to help expose increase exposure for some toys mcm partners we're allowing them to submit videos to pokemon cards 24 7 but again that's explained in more detail in the network update video on the toys channel and then the last little update type thing i'm throwing the idea of kind of getting an unofficial schedule i say unofficial because i don't want to be pigeonholed to doing a specific thing on a certain day Especially if, like, a new product comes out and I find it early, then I want to get, you know, posted ASAP. But, um, I've obviously been trying to do the Throwback Thursday series each Thursday. Uh, the second and third one I think we did was on, like, a Friday and a Saturday. But, trying to keep those to Thursdays now, best that we can. Um, and I also want to continue to open at least one booster box per week. We just are getting off of our two-week, um, our two-week series of opening a booster box every day. So, tentatively, I'd say I want to open a booster box every Friday. Might do more than that, but that's what I would like to do at minimum. And then also be considering doing some sort of top 10 videos, possibly as a top 10 Tuesday, for instance. Um, I would seek suggestions for that. If you have any ideas for that, feel free to leave it in the comments on this video and just say top 10 suggestion, and then let me know what it is, and I'll take it into consideration. Keep in mind, my like video editing skills are not top-notch by any means, so... Uh, ideally, it's something that doesn't require a boatload of editing and special effects and stuff like that. I mean, if it's, you know, top 10 favorite Pokemon cards for a certain set or something like that, or just top 10 Pokemon in general, or 
whatever it may be. Uh, ideally, it would be, you know, something Pokemon related, obviously, for this channel. But if you have any ideas for a Top 10 Tuesday video, well, let me know in the comments here. And if I get enough decent suggestions that I like, that I feel like I can pull off halfway decently, I'll try to make that into a series. Um, and maybe I'll open up FCBMs or something in the near future and do, like, Mail Day Monday or Mail Call Monday or whatever, but uh, I don't want to have a set video for every day of the week because obviously my new product comes out, like the Groudon and Kyogre Tins are due out on the 11th, which is a Wednesday, but I might find them as early as Friday at Walmart or something of this week, and if I find it on Friday when I want to post a booster box, I, I don't have to wait till the next day or whatever, but so unofficially I want to do the Throwback Thursday, Booster Box Friday, and top 10 Tuesdays, perhaps. But if I find a new product on that same day, it may just bump that, you know, quote-unquote, scheduled weekly series video back a day or something. So if I find the Kyogre tin Thursday morning and Groudon tin, and I post those Thursday, Friday, then Throwback Thursday may go to Saturday, and Booster Box Friday go to Sunday or something. But you get the idea. But enough of that. Let's so show you guys what we got here. The first package here comes from Toys MCN partner, Mewtwo's Cry. Um, FYI, I don't actively do trades. Uh, if I want to do a trade, I seek them out, which is very rare. Uh, both of these are actually trades, but they're special circumstances, so uh, don't PM me asking for trades. If you do, if I respond at all, it'll just be to say I am not actively trading at this time. It's just too much hassle for me with writing the websites and networking all that to keep track of trades and stuff, so... Generally, there's not stuff I need, but uh, Toys MCM partner here, Mewtwo's Cry. We both had stuff that we wanted from each other, so it worked out conveniently that way. And if I can help out a Toys MCM partner especially, I'm going to do what I can to pull that off. I suppose I could have opened the air side. I still want to, like, yeah, I don't know why I'm opening from the bottom here. That's kind of stupid of me, but oh well. I think we're almost in. Just going to have to, you know, tear the box up a bit. I think the box he used here came from Amiyami, probably when he got an order from them, so I get the same kind of packaging from them, just bigger boxes, because I buy a lot of boxes at once. It still has the original Japanese newspaper in here, too. That's always fun. I'm not going to unfold it all, but you can see there, it's Japanese, clearly. So, um, Alright, so there's some more paper, but it's all within there. So, some stuff for some future videos here. We've got some booster packs. We have one Japanese pack of Team Rocket. We have four packs of Neo. I want to say Genesis, I forget the name, but I think it's the first Neo set. And then we have four packs, Japanese, of Gym Heroes or Gym Challenge. Again, I forget the set names. I'll, I'll know them when I actually do the videos, but I'll, I'll save these mostly for Throwback Thursdays. Maybe I'll open some of these uh, tomorrow for Throwback Thursday. If you want to see a certain one, I I can probably do, you know, that'd be a one-pack opening. These would probably do, like, two packs per video or something. So let me know if you want to see one of these or if you prefer to see an older English set or something. Well, let me know, and I'll see what I can do for this week's th Throwback Thursday video. And then this next package here is from the Pokemon Noob. So let's see here. I know one thing in here. He, he told me I should do this on video. I'm a little afraid. We are, we are quote-unquote rivals, and he's been known to be not a fan of Phoebus, so I'm a little scared, because I've seen what he's done to them, and just just as I feared, just, just as I feared, oh god, Phoebus, what has he done to you, oh god, I'm gonna cry, oh god. This is three. There's there's three Phoebus here, I think. There's three top corners. There's three bottom corners. Oh, God, Phoebus. Three top corners. Bottom, top, bottom, top. Oh, jeez. Phoebus, buddy. Oh, God. Let's see. Okay, th those pieces go together. I, I gotta at least reassemble one of them here. At least gotta reassemble one of them. That piece, okay. And no, and yes, okay. We, we got one reassembled here. There's, there's poor Phoebus. 
Three Phoebus, twelve pieces, one envelope, hashtag two lawn. Oh, noob, how could you? If, if you want to see the demise of those Phoebus, I, I believe that happened in our box battle with Jordan Japan, a, a Primal Clash box opening battle. So, if you check out Jordan Japan's channel for a Primal Clash box battle against us, y you can see that. Oh, dear. Let's see, what else we got here? Oh, God. <laughs> Phoebus is changed to Jeff. And you're next, the Pokemon noob. Oh dear. Poor Phoebus. <laughs> oh. And Wilmer's uh, spirit Pokemon, whatever he calls it, is Waylord, but I, I don't want to punish any Waylord EXs or foil Waylords and stuff, so that kind of limits us. But yeah. We got a reverse hollow Machoke. Not sure what he's in there for, just for giggles, I guess. Then the most important part, oh, still coming, still coming. Let's see, we've got a reverse Fletchling. And last but not least, a secret rare dive ball. That's one of the three cards I need to complete the set. All I need now is Full Art Primal Groudon EX and Full Art Mega Agron EX. So that does it for this update slash mail day video with all the sadness poor Phoebus so it, if, if this pains you as well pay the Pokemon new a visit and, and let him know the wrong that he has done it, it's sad and devastating I know but I digress thank you for watching please subscribe if you haven't already rock smash that like button check out the pokecapital.com so that's all for me for today I'll see you back here tomorrow 6 p.m. Eastern for Throwback Thursday. See you then.